Hello, this is Nick, and this is my shingle lift that I built for our roofing project because I could not find anywhere within reasonable distance to rent a shingle lift or anything else that would work for our application. And um, the garage here, I did manually bring up the shingles last year when we did it um, because that shingle lift design did not work. So this is now a powered design and it's all two by material pretty much. Um, two by four and then a little bit of two by six and then this electric hoist and a little bit of square tubing and some pulleys. And um, it's 20 foot 20 foot two by four and then I cut some some two by four by eight into I think 16 inch wide pieces just to keep everything in line. I have some scrap square tubing so what I did is I took um, jigsaw after drilling a starter hole and cut a notch in there. If I were to do this again, I would maybe notch it up here a little bit because it did, did split a little bit. So I ended up putting some, um, this screw here and one on the other side just to make sure that split didn't open up. So this is a Champion 440 single line, 440 pound single lined electric hoist. I think MSRP is about 150 bucks and I got it for 130. So far it's been a great hoist. I'm really happy with it. It's 110 volt hoist, not 12 volt. So that square tubing is the same on the top. And then I got some chain link and some shackles. Got the chain link, put the shackle on there so that the, the hook that comes with the hoist would fit nicely. And um, I have a pulley up there just to make things, you know, if you had to, you could put the hoist up there, but it's a lot easier to operate down here and weight wise, it makes more sense. So I have a pulley up there with same thing, chain link shackle. And I have that kind of centered in between the two by four. You can also see I have a two by four at the top there because when I tested it the first time, once the shingles got past the fascia and drip edge, it wanted to cantilever out a bit. So I put that uh, vertical two by four just toenailed with screws into that top there just to take up the weight. And right now with the shingles on the, de on the deck, I just have a, a little piece of one by underneath it so it doesn't dig into the shingles. And the only other modification I have is that two by six up on the ladder, just because the rungs on the ladder uh, aren't quite tall enough to keep the weight off the drip edge. In testing with uh, without fascia board on, um, I didn't use that. So, but with the drip edge on, that's, that's what I end up doing. And that again is toenailed. Uh, into the two by four. And the cart here, uh, the only specialty piece are these heavy duty brackets. I think they're rated for, um, I don't know, 400 pounds a piece. And I designed this um, partly with the hoist in mind with the 440 capacity um, to take up four packs of shingles at a time. So four of those packs of shingles. So I have um, just some vertical two by four, horizontal two by four, the brackets bolted on there with quarter inch bolts, and then this two by six. And uh, put a pack of shingles here, put a pack of shingles here, three, four. Uh, and I didn't, didn't need, um, 
anything to strap them down, I was going to put a bungee cord on them, but I just didn't need it. And the last bit of information with that is this 2x6 on the side. And that is just screwed in here. And that's just to prevent it from falling off the side. So that just acts as a rail system. Oh, and um, I do have these, these wheels underneath. Um, straight wheels, not swivel. I had those from last year's failed shingle lift. And um, yeah, it, it works. I mean, it works flawlessly. It doesn't have any issue with the weight. I did put those uh, um, stakes in the ground just to make sure it doesn't slide back. Uh, the only thing with the square tubing is because um, these are come these are come with the hoist. If it was tilted a little bit, the the cable would run on the the safety hook. So I just put some pine shims I had laying around in there just to take up that slack. Yeah, so let's let her go. It's not super fast, but it's definitely not slow, and it's a lot faster than manually carrying shingles. My wife would be my wife would be down here and operating the lift and she'd stop it there. I'd grab the top two. She'd bring it up a little bit more and grab the other two and come back down. If you're shingling by yourself, the only limitation is that control cord. And if you wanted to, you could, you know, add a, an extension to that and put it up on the roof. Um, but if you're going up and down to pack shingles anyway, it's really not, not a big deal. So like I said, the only thing I would do differently, everything else worked absolutely flawless. The only thing I would do differently is Put that square tubing just up a bit more so it doesn't split and it's a little easier to put those bolts in and i do have i didn't mention i do have a set screw in that square tubing just so it doesn't slide out but uh, other than that thanks for watching